Since the discovery of chiasmus in the Book of Mormon, some have wondered how it could have survived the translation process. After all, the translation of ancient texts into English could very well affect words, phrases, and meanings in a way that might change its literary structure. However, as examples from the Bible and other ancient translated texts have shown, chiasmus can survive translation. In fact, due to its parallelistic nature, chiasms may better survive translations than other rhetorical forms. While some literary structures may have been lost in the translation process, we should rejoice for the chiasms that are present in the Book of Mormon. Chiasms can give us a clearer idea of what these ancient authors were trying to communicate. Their specific wording and central points can help focus our attention on what the author was deliberately trying to teach us. And now you know why.